Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Angel here back with another video. And today we did a makeup tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I really wanted to base this look on this uh, Tarte to be a mermaid palette. And I came up with this nice pretty blue mermaid look. And we're going to talk about this palette right now. I really enjoyed this palette. This palette here is very pigmented. If you guys have a place to store it, it is really hard to store it. So I keep it in this box so it won't fall over anything because of how it's shaped. I really like the packaging. I'm not afraid of this packaging. I think it's really pretty. And that was another reason why I didn't want this palette. But I really wanted this palette because of this whole bottom row right here. It's very, very pretty. The shades right there are amazing. I like blues and if y'all didn't know, blue is my favorite color, blue and green, so that's why I really wanted this palette. The only problem I have with this palette is that they only have three matte shades, so you won't have a lot of different shades for the transition colors and everything. You're just going to have those three shades. So there are 14 shades here, and there are three mattes. And the rest are shimmers and satin. So you have three different formulas. Tarte shadows are amazing. These were very blendable. They are very pigmented. These um, shimmer shades or satin shades, they work differently. You can use a brush if you guys, if y'all prefer a brush. But it works better when you use your hands. I couldn't really use my hands. If y'all see in the video, I really couldn't use my hands because of these nails. But if you guys just have like low nails, y'all can get your finger in there and y'all can probably pat it on your eye. But I did use my finger and I tried. It worked. It came out perfectly. And I used the brush too. I wet the brush. It really looked the same with the brush. Even wetting it, it looked the same. So I didn't find a difference for that. So I use these two blues right here. Came on the eye really well. So this palette here also has a lot of fallout. So if y'all have a problem with fallout thing, but I'll say dab in your brush and don't pat in it. Just tap in it because it will fall out. Even on the eye, I usually have setting powder to just sit under my eye so the shadow won't come down. And it did happen. So next time I know to put keep this setting powder under my first eye. thing we're gonna do is put primer on our face and I'm gonna be using this NYX shine killer it's a matte primer it says it's supposed to eliminate all the oils throughout the day and I only get oily around my t-zone now I'm going into this Maybelline fit me foundation the dewy smooth one in 360 first I start off using my Morphe M439 brush. Then after that, I start using my Beauty Blender to blend everything out. I'm blending to my neck. My neck, chest, skin, my body are a different color, so I try to do it with my neck. And my ears, see like my whole body is a different skin tone. Going in concealer today, I'm gonna be using this Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation slash concealer I like using this because it's super full coverage and I have a lot of dark areas a lot of discoloration so this helps a lot with that this will put you in the mind of the Tarte Shape Tape concealer going into my beauty blender gonna blend everything out forgot to put that on Now for contour, I'm going to this NYX matte foundation. This is in the color Deep Dark. I try to do my contour here. Instead of going starting from the bottom, I start from the top. Because it's going to dry it down anyway, so I usually start under my cheekbone area. Going back, I'm going to blend all of this together, try to hide the harsh lines. Now I'm going into my favorite setting powder which is this medium dark Laura Mercier powder. Okay, now that I'm done with my nose contour, this is how I like to contour my nose. It looks like a regular nose because mine is very pudgy and I don't really have like a arch. 
Now we're going on to my powder contour and I like using this shade right here. I don't really use this palette like that, so I'll try to use this for like an everyday face. The only colors I really like using are these right here. And that's what I really, I like Morphe, but it's just, you don't never use all the shades. And that really just be my problem. Blend this in the nose contour. The way I do my um, contour and everything, you know, a lot of y'all don't have to do it this way because it helps me with my facial shape. And a lot of other YouTubers, if you look at them, everybody really don't have the same facial shape. You gotta find what's best for your shape because there's a lot of different shapes out there. And mine's are right here. I try to do it this way because it put definition to what I don't have and it makes cheekbones and everything because my face is so round. It gives, with the way I contour everything, just gives me bones that I don't have in the places that I probably need them in. Going on to this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. I use this all over the face to set my whole face. It's 16 hour wear, so it's, so you shouldn't get oily in those 16 hours. Going into this Anastasia Blush Kit in the color Gradient. Let me take in these two shades, this peach and this dark burgundy. Now I'm going into this Morphe DD palette. I'm going to be taking these two shades right here. the highlight for my nose I like to spray my brush but before I spray my brush I'm gonna go ahead and do my under the brow bone highlight so when I put this on my face I had a lot on the brush and I did hit it off so it's very pigmented in the middle part of my nose no the first thing I do with my eyes is I set it with this tart shape tape concealer and then this, I actually got this in the wrong shade too. My concealer I have to go to the store and get because I always buy the wrong shade. And I thought this was matching me because it looked darker on the picture. I just realized I can just use this for my eyes. And I like using it for the eyes. It works really good as an eyeshadow base. And it does dry quickly, so you have to move really quickly. So we got a new palette today that I haven't tried yet. And I have swatched these in the store. A Lux Soft Crease Brush. This is by Zoeva. So this color right here called Short Thing. This is going to use this as a transition color. So I'm taking this right under where I put my brown bo brow bone shade. This color right here called Shipwreck. I'm going this color right here called Bubbles. It's like a blue with a purple iridescent. I'm going to show y'all what it's like without wetting my brush. You see it? Now I'm gonna spray my brush. I'm gonna try on my finger. Yeah, it's way more pigmented with your finger, guys. My whole finger in there to work. But I can't because my fingernails, so we're gonna leave it how it is. Now I'm going into this blue color right here called Lagoon. Lagoon, I cannot talk today. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. It's the gold at the top, and it's called Nude Beach. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes, and I'll be right back with the finished look. I put some mascara on. I I use this Ofra mascara. I don't think this look needs any eyeliner to it, so we're not gonna put any eyeliner to it. And now I'm gonna go into them two colors that I use as my transitional shade. And I'm gonna put those on the under this waterline. Now we're done with the eyes. I'm gonna be using this dark brown pencil. 
since we did this blue look for the eyes today, I think I want to do some some blue lipstick. This is not like a regular blue. This is a sapphire blue, and that's what it's called. This is the, oh no, it's called Midnight Blue. This is a Maybelline lipstick. So I think we're done here. So that is all for today's makeup tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup look, really like it. And all the products that I used today were A1. They were lit, they were cute, and they came out to look real nice all together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, give this video a thumbs up, and also, what else? Comment down below. I like to see your guys' comments. I do. Sometimes I'll comment back, and sometimes I'll like it. So I want to see whatever you guys have to say. If you think I should do something better, if you think I should use more lashes, anything that you guys, I want feedback. So I want to just know what you guys want to see more videos of. Go in the comment area and say what you guys have to say. Because I do look at the comment area. And if you guys want to request a certain look or request a certain palette, then you guys can request it or request a certain type of video. So all you guys have to do before you guys leave this video. And I'll see you guys in the next makeup tutorial or the next video that I come out with. So, bye guys.